Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Andy Rosser and today we're going to be using a foam roller to help target some of the areas to uh, get some relief for the lower back. So to start off with, I'm going to use the foam roller my mid-back. got my arms crossed up nice and strong so I can squeeze those shoulder blades out of the way and get some of those muscles that hide underneath there. And mobility in the upper back is a big issue for the lower back, so this is going to be a great place to start. Next I'm going to move into the lower back and keep a nice neutral spine by supporting through my uh, through my hands there just holding lightly behind the knees and up and back and forth over that I'm trying not to cantilever myself too far up over the foam roller and just hyper extend my low back because that's going to be uh, stressful to it. Next up we're going to go to the hips and I'm going to do five passes over this uh, one hip area and then switch to the other side but not in this video I'm saving time here a little bit so what you're going to want to do when you're doing this at home is do about 10 to 12 passes over each one of these areas and uh, follow along that way so nice slow steady passes next technique after the hip is the hamstring and I'm uh, I'm doing this all in one full pass from the from the bottom of the sitting bones all the way down to the knee. Uh, I've got long arms, I can do that. If you need to break it into two parts, that's just fine. Just do the upper part and then the lower part. Uh, that would be better than trying to do it really fast and skipping over some of the uh, trigger points that are hiding in there. Next is the calf and same thing with the calf. You can break it up in upper and lower but this one in particular, just like I did with the hamstring, I'm stacking one knee on top of the other just to get a lot of uh, pressure down on that one side. That's too painful and you need to split it between both legs. Just balance both legs on top of the foam roller and, and roll from there. But if you can, get yourself where you can do that. Get your feet nice and relaxed uh, so you're not fighting against the foam roller. Next up is a little twister move getting into the uh, position to use the IT band on the foam roller. And I do that so I can put a little bit of my uh, body weight on that front foot as it's resting on the ground there, uh, or I can let it uh, let my body just hover right on that uh, foam roller. Uh, you get a you get a little choice in being able to do that this way. And nice long pass from the hip all the way down to the top of the knee. Next up is the quadriceps, and uh, that will be the last technique here for the. Uh, ones that we're trying to use to target for the lower back so uh, hopefully they're successful for you and uh, remember about 10 to 12 passes over each of these areas and hope they serve you well